guys, it's me, Destiny. Okay, today's video is going to be really different. Um, I was going to do something else, but I feel like this is um, very needed and necessary right now. Um, those of you who don't know, which I don't really think a lot of strangers will be watching this, but we'll see. Um, Hurricane Harvey hit um, Port Aransas and Houston and a lot of places around Texas. Um, San Antonio did not get any like incredibly bad damage compared to Houston and Port Aransas. Um, but I do want to start off by saying that, um, we all are watching what's happening and it's really tragic, but like it's to the point where I don't want to just sit here and not do anything about it. So my friend Roger and I, I tweeted that I think that we should, okay, first it was because Port Aransas, I'd seen more pictures of the damage there and it's like destroyed like all the souvenir shops and of course everyone's houses are messed up like, so... I was saying that we should form a team and go help out with the families to get their houses back, like get their families back on their feet and just to help out because a lot of those souvenir shops are family owned just to get their uh, shops fixed so they can get money coming in so that way they're not, you know, broke right now, especially they need the money right now. Um, so that one, Port Aransas, isn't that far. So I was thinking, which is very drastic, but go big or go home, um, we could rent like a big bus and everyone that wants to go that's down, you know, just bring a little bit of money so we can like eat and like um to help with gas and stuff um but to drive over there and just help out and clean up the beaches and just um bring a lot of waters um clothes blankets anything that'll help out small stuff to those families um and then houston of course um, me and roger are not sure if we're gonna drive over there there yet we don't have a big truck actually i can use my dad's plot twist um but we sorry i moved my camera on accident but um we're going to drive up there soon once it's like a little safer because they are like kind of like not allowing just anyone to go help out because it is um, making putting out more danger when you just go and show up. So um, we are taking donations of water, um, jugs, the cases, um, blankets. I know all of my Mexican families and just everyone in general that's not supposed to be racist, but everyone in general has a crap ton of blankets. If you don't need one or you have extra sweaters, any clothes that will help just um, give it to me. My garage is huge right now. There's like nothing in it so we can stack up on all that stuff. Um, I saw a tweet um, that waters are like $45 right now um, in Houston and that's illegal because they need, I guess it's because they ran out and that's the only way that they'll be able to sell them or they'll just keep going and gas is like eight dollars which is ridiculous i do want to transfer um take some gas over there from here but that is extremely dangerous so i don't know about that part you know traveling with all that gasoline but um hopefully you guys are willing to help out if not i'll figure something out but where there's a will there's a way um and i don't know if any of you guys are religious but i ask that you just please pray right now and a lot of people are kind of talking down on the christian Christian side right now because they're saying like there is a lot of tragedies right now then why are we you know praising God that there is crosses still standing in Port Aransas and I understand where people are coming from but um God does everything for a reason we may not know why we may not understand we may not like it but I do believe that God um has his plans are greater than ours and I don't know why he's doing it and sometimes I question too but I'm just gonna stay faithful to him um, I ask that y'all are just staying positive and um, just thinking of other people right now. It's really hard to be selfless right now considering school's just starting and, you know, it's just a selfless world. But um, consider the other people. Think about them whenever you're having a bad day. Be like, is it really that bad? Because there's people that lost their lives, their families, their homes, everything. So seriously, the water, you don't even have to. Okay, I don't, I wanted to start a GoFundMe, but I didn't know how much people would donate considering they wouldn't like I wouldn't have to do it like directly with a like a foundation like I could but it would be kind of hard so I know a lot of people wouldn't trust I mean I trust myself but a lot of people are very um hesitant about that stuff because they would think that I would spend it myself so um if you want to donate like five dollars I mean that'll get us like a case of water but um really and I know it's hard right now but if you have clothes you can take it to um Plato's Closet or something or sell it online and with that money or just any money that you can get with the money from that you can give it to these people by getting water for them and if you don't have any money you can also donate your time literally like my friends this weekend my friend Kylie just went to Puerto Rancis to go help clean up the beach so I feel like anything that you can do to help is um it's better than nothing 
Um, a lot of famous people are saying they're sending their thoughts, and I completely understand that. Understand that. That's nice, but your thoughts aren't really going to do anything. And of course, I'm sure they're going to donate. So I'm not talking trash about them. They are doing their best. Actually, I don't know, but. I mean, your thoughts aren't going to do much. So instead of just thinking about them, and yes, of course, our prayers are working, but we also have to, we, God ha gave us hands and feet to go help out. So we need to help out. Um, Texas is literally like a country. Like we need to step it up because if that happened to us, you know that for dang sure, Houston or Corday would come over here and help us. So I just ask that you're um, thinking of the others right now. And um, if you have any ideas, because I know my ideas were kind of small and not very broad and out there. But if you have any ideas or you like are down to go on a trip soon, just let me know. Um, all my social media will be in the description box. If not, if you have my number or my Snapchat, just message me. And let me know your ideas or if you're willing to help, I'll go meet you somewhere if you have waters and stuff. Um, and if you're from the burning area, just contact me and I'll give you Roger's number. Um, Roger will be able to meet you as well hopefully but um thank you so much guys and um I know it's like you're probably like okay this isn't gonna help there's like so many people but I feel like if we get the word out it'll get out there and we'll be able to help out um and maybe other people will help me and Roger out but if you retweet this on Twitter or share it on Facebook or just send it to a friend that'll help out and um just know I'm willing to take any ideas so don't be scared but thank you so much for watching guys please keep them in your thoughts and prayers, and I know I just said that the thoughts thing doesn't help, but just um, sending good vibes there helps a lot. But yes, we do need to take action and not just think about it. So thank you guys for watching. Love you. Mwah.